Welcome back to another episode of CAD Jungle. In today's quick episode, we're going to be modeling this gear. Let's hop right to it. All right, let's go ahead and create a new component. Let's just label this gear. Let's create a sketch. Select the right view. Put it on a visible plane. Let's start out with a center diameter circle. We're going to go ahead and make this 32 millimeters. Okay, let's go ahead and finish the sketch. Hit the E key for extrude. We're gonna make the direction symmetric. Okay, we want it to be 15 millimeters. We want the measurement to be whole length. And that's it. All right, let's go ahead and let's create a sketch and let's put it on this face right here. Okay. Start out in the center point, center diameter circle. Let's go ahead and make this diameter 10 millimeters. Okay. Let's also go ahead and use the center rectangle. Let's start in the center. Let's drag it out and let's make it two millimeters. Hit the tab key, two millimeters again. All right. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and finish the sketch. All right. Let's use the extrude command. Select this profile. I'm going to select all, the, all of the squares. Okay. And what we want to do, bring it in a little bit and let's go ahead and set the extent type to all. Okay. Click okay. All right. Let's go ahead and create another sketch on this same face. Let's draw two circles, starting from the center. I'm gonna make the first uh, circle 15 millimeters. Okay, second circle. We're gonna make 25 millimeters. All right. Let's hit the E key for extrude. Select the inside profile. And let's type in negative three. So it'll cut three millimeters into the actual circle itself. All right. Let's go ahead and just use the mirror command. So create mirror. Okay. We want to use features. The extrude we just uh, selected. Excuse me, the extrusion we just created. Mirror plane. It's going to be this inside plane here. Computer option is going to be optimized. Click OK. It's on both sides now. Okay. All right, select the right view, create a sketch on this face right here. Okay. All right, <clears throat> let's start out by drawing a construction line from the center point and bring it up. Close it off. All right. All right. So we're going to draw a line. Let's turn off construction first. Let's draw a line right here and let's make it about 0.5 millimeters. All right. We want the distance of that line from the center point to be about 13.6 millimeters. All right. Zoom in a bit and let's go ahead and use the three point arc like so. All right. Let's go ahead and set the dimensions from this point to this point. We're going to be about, let's see, 1.58 millimeters. Make the distance from this point to this point vertically to be 3.28 millimeters. All right. Let's set the radius to be 4.56 millimeters. All right. Let's zoom in a bit. Let's use the fillet command. And let's give this section right here a 0.3 millimeter fillet. All right. Now let's go ahead and use the mirror command. And let's select these lines. All right. 
And the mirror line is going to be the construction line we created previously. And there you have it. Let's go ahead and close it off by using a three point arc. And let's give it a radius of about 18 millimeters. All right. Okay. Let's go ahead and finish the sketch. Use the extrude command. Select this entire profile. Just drag it inward a little bit. Operation is going to be set to cut. Distance is going to be all. all right. Now, let's go ahead and use the circular pattern tool. I'm going to select features. The extrusion we just created. Axis, let's go ahead and select this face right here, the round face. Quantity is going to be 30. Compute option is going to be optimized. Click OK. Well, that about wraps it up for this quick tutorial. Stick around and I'll see you in the next video.